Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs based all across Wisconsin. Behind me is the 1958 Chevy Cameo pickup truck frame. It is back from powder coating and Jeff is putting this bad boy together. And it is looking pretty sharp. Getting on the independent front suspension. The rack is on for the power steering. And all this was mocked up prior to getting to this point. What are you doing right now, sir? I'm putting our shocks together, our coilovers. I need some anti-seize on them. And so, greasing them up and putting them all together for the final time, hopefully. And why are you supposed to put anti-seize on them? Because mm, we don't want them to seize. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, they've got uh, adjustable on the coilovers and uh, it's all aluminum and stuff, so we don't want to make sure it, uh, it can move later down the road if we ever need to adjust them. Awesome. And these are Viking shocks made right here in the United States. This is the first time that we have used these shocks. We typically have used Alden America, made in California. These are made right here in Minnesota. And the JR Rod Shop that we typically have our frames built at they recommended these with their independent front end and their four-link rear end. So that is why they are being used. Setting up the 1958 Chevy Cameo suspension, building the spacers for the rear shocks so they don't hit the rear axles, and it is together. Had one crazy thing happen. JW Rod Shop provided us with the entire front end. The front caliper, it's actually, the bottom bolt is hitting, which isn't good. The other side, eighth inch clearance, the top eighth inch clearance, the bottom is hitting. Called up JW Rod Shop, literally sent them an email saying, here's the problem. Not even five minutes went by and they responded with an email. I have a new one, where do you want it sent? So no arguments, no challenges, no you're doing something wrong. I'll send you a new part. Where do you want it sent? Awesome to work with. They saved our butt on our SEMA truck. They built us a frame from the time I picked up the phone and called them to the time we had the frame, if you remember correctly, less than three weeks. It was crazy, stupid, no time whatsoever. In today's world, that probably wouldn't happen, but they really helped us out. Provided all the materials for the four, four link in the rear, the independent front. Great group of guys to work with. Thanks JW Rod Shop, we appreciate it. If you want to revisit Where's My Damn Frame episodes, check it out, the P57, Where's My Frame. Looking good here, keep watching. So we have a, a new set of bezels for the taillights on this, and they look beautiful. You What's see? this? The, the 1958 Chevy Cameo. And you know, it's, they look beautiful when they got here. Taped them up. There's a little bit of uh, corrosion on them and such from when we unpackaged them. But we taped them up and this came off with just the tape. But check this out. Got that, Jeff? Mm -hmm. So, like we use JW Rod or JW, we use JR chrome plating up in Minneapolis. And this is a great example of why the chrome isn't sticking. Do another one. Isn't sticking to the metal. 
It's just peeling right off. So are these old and they were replated? I think they're brand new. And they were plating, but I don't think the plating process was done correctly. I'm gonna send some emails and find out if we can get something for uh, Joe. This is crazy. Sometimes you'll find a part out there that looks awesome, but in the end, because these look beautiful, in the end, watch what you're buying. Everything isn't as it seems to be. All right, the LS is coming in for the 58 Chevy cameo truck. Sliver? Perfect. Did you did you catch that bill? There is drama right there. Jeff got injured. <laughs> Okay, so with Blueprint Engine, it comes in this crate, as you can see. It's bolted to the crate with a little strap in four areas. Came off of the semi very easy. And now we are getting it ready to go into the frame that's sitting over here. I love my baby. Even though she's kind of crazy, she's still my baby. <laughs> because months went into getting this vehicle, this 58 Cameo truck, to where it is. Jeff's fingers, I swear, he had hands bigger than Michael Jordan. He could take a basketball and palm it. And he's sanded so much that he just has these little nubs left so he can't even play basketball anymore. And he's ready to be done with this truck. Jeff owns it. He's been doing a super job. And uh, we're turning the corner. And tomorrow's a huge day. Tomorrow's a huge day because tomorrow, this, the last big piece of this truck, will be a beautiful, legendary tri-coat. Base coat, mid coat, top coat, clear coat, paint. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome job. And Zach is all white from painting. He is. Did you, paint, did you, did you take some of it off in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is a. What's this it's called Ripper Van Armoff. No, you're the one holding on to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. This feels I'm really leaving. Not. Good. Can't touch up there. So if you're there, I'm here. Yep. Do you think that we'll be okay? <laughs> well, once you're not, it's probably not a good time to decide you're not. Seriously, should I hook up the truck? Oh, that, that spot right there should be fire. See, where would it be? Paint. Start right down the bottom. Oh, yep.
as you can see, it is in our tri-coat white. It is looking amazing. Zach finished this up yesterday, so everything is dry and ready to go. So, this is gonna be a two-tone truck. Now, we're doing things a little bit different. Because of the time that it takes to do this, we've literally spent a 40-hour week in the paint booth on all of the components of a truck. Taping things off, masking, sanding, bodywork, making sure things are as dust-free as possible, all of that. So now we have to two-tone it. So what we will be doing on Monday is we'll be taking this entire area on the outside and on the dash on the inside where we're gonna do a two-tone and we are going to be scuffing this. So this area in here is going to be true red, which is, they call it true red because it's, it's red. It's the truest red out there. It doesn't lean towards the orange side. It doesn't lean towards the uh, maroon side. It's just a really nice red. Then we're gonna scuff everything on this vehicle and then re-clear coat it so we don't have a hard edge. So that's gonna be a really, really nice um, thing to do. The reason why we're doing it again is because of the time constraints. The clear coat is put on just to make life easier. So it's looking great. The dash is gonna be red. The pillars are gonna be red. It's just gonna be an awesome, awesome look. The 1958 Cameo actually came the way that we are putting this together. Now, back in 1958, trucks were not designed to be anything except work vehicles until the Cameo came along, which was in 1955. Chevy actually put the Cameo together with style and just components that were never thought of back in that day for a pickup truck. They were work vehicles, that was it. This Cameo, the Cameo line, which went from 55 to 58, has style, it really does. It's exciting for us to do this project. Can't wait to get it together. Exciting project, keep watching. We're glad you're here. If you like what you see, hit the like button down below. Put some comments down there that helps us out. Share our videos, that'd be very much appreciated also. We appreciate each and every, every one of you. Keep watching and uh, there's a lot more to come. But this truck is beautiful. I would say it's on the verge of becoming legendary. When we get that two-tone on here, it's gonna be awesome. Keep watching.